Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question. So this particular question is asked in EY, EDL test operation. The experience level is five to six years. The question is very simple, okay, and uh, it's easy to understand and easy to solve. So they have a tables, okay. They have two tables which they have given. So first table A, employee D, employee name, manager name. And they have a table B as well. In that particular table, they have an employee ID and employee salary and employee location. What they wanted to achieve it, they wanted to achieve it, okay, fifth, fifth highest salary, fifth highest salary, fifth highest salary, they wanted to achieve it along with, along with employee name and as well as manager name, okay, and then salary as well, nothing but a fifth highest salary, they wanted to achieve it. So very simple here, if you understand that this particular table side, so you have to have a relationship. If you have a two table side, one, if you have a two tables, okay, you have to have a relationship. One is here you can see this is the first table, which is having employee ID. And here you can see this is the another table, table B, okay. Here also employee ID, okay. One side it is a primary key, another side you can see it is a foreign key. Now, then that case, what you can consider, okay, you can join the table by using the employee ID, okay. So, you can join the tables using the employee ID, okay. So, next thing is, what you have to do, you have to go ahead and you have to get the fifth highest salary, fifth highest salary. How you can do that? How you can do that? Very, very simple, okay. So, there are multiple ways to do that. I'm going to go with the traditional way. Uh, and even we can use the CTEs as well. But right now, I'm going with the traditional way. Okay. So, very, very simple example. So, here, select. Okay. Select. First thing. Okay. First, we'll go with the joinings. From table A. Okay. Table A. Let me copy that. Table A here. Okay. Table A. Okay. In now join. Okay, in now join table B. Okay, on what is what it is. Okay, table A. Let me get the copy paste. I don't want to write it up. So here table A dot EMP ID EMP underscore ID. I think we write employee ID equals to table B. Okay, dot EMP underscore ID. So first thing you are going ahead and you are getting the joinings. So what are the columns which you are looking for? So you are looking for the employee name, manager name, and salary. Okay. You are looking for that, right? Then what you can do here, you can go here, employee name, EMP underscore name. You can select it up, EMP underscore name. Then what do you want? You want manager name as well, manager name as well. Then what do you want? Even salary also, salary also. Now you wanted to get the fifth highest, fifth highest salary. Then that case, what you can do, you can use the windowing function. You can use the windowing function. Then what you can do, dense rank, okay, over, over, okay, order way. Okay, here you are not checking at department level. That is the reason I'm giving here nothing directly on order by. Order by, what basis you wanted to do that? Salary, EMP underscore salary. EMP, EMP underscore salary. Okay, underscore DESC, DESC, fifth highest salary. Now, here you can mention as, as salary rank, okay, as salary rank. Now, once you do this, right, so first you execute it, we'll see the output, then on top of it, how you can get that, you'll understand. So, you can, here you can see, sorry, there is a salary column which I have taken, which is incorrect here, okay, so I have to use the EMP chart. Now, you can see, you are getting the, you are getting the, based on the salary, you are getting the rank here. Okay, dense rank, nothing but here you are getting the rank. Now, you wanted to query that rank. Okay, if you wanted to get fifth highest salary. So, the whatever you are doing, right? Okay, whatever you are doing here. Okay, you joined here. And then you got the, you are applying the windowing function as well. Now, you wanted to get the fifth highest salary. So, whatever you have done within this particular joinings and everything, 
you can just write a simple inline view. Okay, why I have to write inline view? The reason behind it, okay, alias columns cannot be queried in where clause. For example, if I can go ahead and use the where serve and equals to, okay, fit, okay, which is going to throw an error, throw an error, okay. So this is the issue which we are going to get, which we are going to get it as issues, okay. So very simple, okay, this is the one of the issue which I can see. So if you wanted to avoid that, what you can do, okay, you, you can just simply whatever the thing which you have written, everything, simply select start from, okay, A, you are writing inline view. So what it does, internally, whatever it is going to execute, okay, employee name, manager name, employee salary. So here, in this case, whatever the expression which you are doing, everything you are rating as a salary. Rank. So once you write inline view, this as a consider for this particular table, A table, it is a column. So now you can create here where cell rank equals to 5. Okay. If you do that, automatically what it is going to happen, you will be able to get the fifth highest salary along with the employee name, manager name, and as well as employee salary and salary rank also. If you don't want salary rank, just you can mention these details here. Okay. You need not to have to mention rank. So, in that case, you can select only the columns which you are required. Okay. This is the way you can get this particular answer. Okay. We do have multiple questions on EY and other questions as well, but it is taking more time for me. I don't have a time on weekdays. Okay. I'll try to solve this, but those questions in the over the weekend. Thanks, guys. Please share and subscribe the channel. Thank you, guys.